He does not need this as further certification of his greatness. Yet he and his team crave an even more exalted place in history. To join the Minneapolis Lakers of the 50s, first to three-peat. To be mentioned with the NBA's true dynasty, Russell Celtics, eight titles in a row, almost a triple three-peat. Comparisons across the eras are difficult, but Michael Jordan knows this. He is on the verge of accomplishing what his most formidable contemporaries could not. Larry Bird's Boston Celtics reached the finals five times in all, and in a six-year span, won three championships. Some say Bird's 86 team was the best ever for a single year, but Larry Seltz never repeated largely because of the presence of Magic Johnson's Lakers, who reached the finals nine times in 12 seasons and wore the crown five times, once back-to-back, -back, but they were thwarted by injuries and Isaiah Thomas's Pistons as they went for the triple. That was the first of two in a row for Detroit, but eventually, a team they had haunted grew stronger, and when the Bulls swept the Pistons, the torch was passed, although grudgingly. The Chicago Bulls, now on the verge of such an emphatic run of excellence that they believe no one will be able to deny them a place on the short list of all-time great NBA teams. The Chicago Bulls, nearing the end of an extraordinary basketball odyssey and believing to a man that tonight is the night. Turns before the double team can get to him, he'll be able to 
to shoot it over the top of KJ. Three three-pointers. Michael Jordan showing some signs after not looking to shoot for a long stretch. Since we didn't call the foul, we're going to get the ball back to the Chicago Bulls. Jordan. Yes. Tonight. Armstrong passed on the three. Hits the three. Come back next game. Talk to Simmons, senior executive vice president of the Sons. On the radio broadcast. Michael Jordan, 7 of 11. He has 15 points. Tonight, I just pull up and take my jump shot. You see that he had his head down, that froze Dan Marley, and he just jumped right up for his jump shot. One King and Scott Williams joining Jordan Pippen and Armstrong. Michael Jordan has 17. Kevin Johnson guarding Michael Jordan. Shot clock at five. Jordan Butler cuts it to a four-point Phoenix lead. Executing the, uh, the offensive play in the half court very well. Jordan line drives it home. Phoenix. And the Suns able to elude the trap. Marley for three. Yes! Dan Marley hitting his second from downtown. And the Suns open up a 13-point lead. They play. Able to recover. Jordan. Stop from behind. Dumas got a piece of it. And Dumas will finish it off. See that he can't intimidate Danny Ames. Uh, and hopefully, uh, if he go out to Danny, we have to get out to him. Yes, Danny Ainge and Michael Jordan got into it in game number four. Jordan just drilled that corner jump. So the Suns now lead 72-60 with 4.20 remaining in the third quarter. Now, in these last two games, especially tonight, Phoenix is doing a lot of the hit. Three-pointer. Hudson hits the three. Jordan for three. Yes. Phoenix Suns will be rocking. Ten seconds remaining of the game, and the Suns with a 106-95 lead. Michael Jordan sitting down, departing with 41. That's Tucker hitting the three. 106-98. Frank Johnson and Kevin Johnson, 10-point Suns lead, and that will do it. The Phoenix Suns leading most of the way. Remain alive in this best of seven as they knock off the Bulls. 108 to 98. The Bulls now lead three games to two, but this series goes back 
to Phoenix. Game six, Sunday night, airtime at seven. That's Eastern time right here on NBC. Let's go to Hannah with Phoenix coach Paul Westfall. Paul, the Chicago Bulls came into this game with a date with destiny, but you guys came in hungry, fighting for survival, loose. You're having a great time, joking at halftime. Did that kind of attitude help you come into Chicago Stadium and take two out of three? We like to play basketball. And I think the game should be fun, and I think that if you relieve the pressure a little bit, you can play better. So it worked tonight. I don't care about being down 3-1. God want us to win the World Championship. <laughs> I don't know if I go that much, y'all. I, I talked to him another night. But wait a minute.